They were tortured and killed. All right, guys, this is what I'm walking into. Demons are present in this area. <sighs> Apparition of our Japanese executioner has been sighted. Now we've got a nine meter ladder up to the surface. I don't know where these taps came from. So which? I don't know where that is. No, it's getting smaller. This is seriously claustrophobic in here. Did you hear something behind you? Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt today. I am going to take you around the Penang War Museum. So keep watching to find out what makes this place one of the most haunted in Southeast Asia. Alright guys, so we've just walked into the front entry of the Penang War Museum. This place is really, really notorious for all of the horrible things that happened here during the war especially. And for its supposed hauntings and I mean we're just walking down the entry tunnel and there's all old relics there's guns these look like old bottles tools maybe some gun shells there's a lot of stuff here to explore this place is really huge it's actually the biggest war museum in Southeast Asia as well as being the most haunted I think we're gonna see a lot of crazy things today World War II bomb here this looks like a almost like a fossilized gun before I get into showing you around in depth and telling you about the ghost stories, I wanted to highlight the history of this place. It was uh, built back in the 1930s and it was actually built by the British to protect their shipping um, of goods in this area. But when World War uh, II started, the Japanese uh, came to Malaysia, took over and they also took over this place, which is a big fort. Now what they did was they converted this fort into a prisoner of war camp and resultedly thousands of people were brought here. They were tortured and killed. Now the torture and the killings were very, very severe and very common. So beheadings, uh, which were almost like a ceremonial ritual, happened here on the daily as well as a lot of, lot of torture. So it's quite a gruesome place. It also had a very notorious torturer this executioner was Tadashi Suzuki and many people still believe that he remains here to haunt this place. So there's a lot of history here. It lied abandoned for about 60 years before being taken over, kind of cleared out and restored, had a lot of artifacts brought in to become this museum. This place is said to have some crazy paranormal energy and knowing that little snippet of history it's easy to see why. Alright guys, we're about to enter into an ammunition tunnel. This thing stretches 9 metres underground and it was tough enough to withstand enemy fire because there was a lot of sensitive ammunition stored in here. We're going to head in. This place is also quite creepy because I think it gets quite dark in there and there's also been sightings of a Japanese executioner in here. So. Okay, so at the very end of that entry tunnel, are these two very dark tunnels here. So you can go in this way and I guess come out this way. And these are four foot concrete thick walls. So I think that these are like an emergency kind of escape route if this place is getting attacked or whatever. And then when we come into this room, this seems like it would be a storage room. So this one here with gruesome paintings like this. This is quite disturbing. There's a lot of military boots up here. And then if we come in here, these are all ammunition stands just on the uh, ground beside me. So these are mortar shells. It's so crazy to see all these old relics in these places. Check out the air vent as well. Alright guys, since this is where the apparition of our Japanese executioner has been sighted. We're going to go in to these dark tunnels, no lights. Jared's going to flick on the night vision behind me, but I'm literally just going to go in in the dark and guide my way through with my hands and we'll see what happens. Oh my god, it is so dark in here. Jesus, I 
can't even tell. Okay, the roof is just here. Can I just grab the camera so we can have a quick look in front of me? All right, guys, this is what I'm walking into. It's super creepy. It looks like there's a corner ahead. Do you want to take that, Joe? Yeah. All right, I feel like I have an instinct to stand up and I don't want to smash my head on the roof. Okay, I feel a corner here. Dude, this is, this is seriously claustrophobic in here. This is so creepy. And it's really hot, I'm just sweating. I feel like it's getting smaller. <laughs> Maybe it's just me freaking out. No, it's getting smaller. Is it getting smaller, Jared? I don't know. And I cannot see it ahead of me at all. This is actually really scary. I don't know what that noise is. That's a jet or something, right? that's part of this museum, like a display, and it's not. Oh my god, this is freaky. I'm sweating, sweating balls in here as well. The width of this room is like my forearm length. Like, yeah, I can't even stretch my arms out fully in here. It's really tight and it's like hard to breathe. It's, it's suffocating in here. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going because I really want to get out of here. It's like freaking me out. <laughs> So another thing that's crazy, this dark tunnel, this is actually where someone has cited an apparition of what they claim to be a Japanese executioner, one of the torturers and the killers here. And I just can't picture running into someone down here, like how scary that would be. And just knowing like so many people were imprisoned here, tortured and killed is really, it's really heavy to think about, actually. Can you hear that noise? Like a droning? Yeah. I can also hear some birds and stuff. I'm just, I don't have uh, Japanese on me right now, but all I know is konnichiwa. I'm just gonna yell out. Konnichiwa. Did you hear something behind you? Mm-hmm. I'm so sweaty in here. Like, I'm just dripping. Are you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I just wasn't sure if I was having a <laughs> panic attack or something. Okay, I say we just keep going because I don't need to get out of here, I think. Okay, I can see the door. There's also a little hole here. That's letting some light and I guess oxygen in. But can you see the door ahead? How creepy yeah. it looks. Oh, we're so close to the end now. I gotta get out because I'm just. I wasn't when I came in this tunnel and now I'm just wet with my own sweat. It's so crazy. <laughs> okay. okay, we're out. It's good. I feel like we came out the wrong way that we went in though. We must have literally gone in here and then circled all the way around to come out. <sighs> That's 
crazy, guys. Now we're gonna exit. We're not gonna take the easy way out, though. This is actually an escape route, so if this place did get attacked, anyone in here could escape and go to the top level of the ground. Seven meters of crawl, nine meters of climb. Can you guys do that with me? <laughs> now this one we're gonna do a little bit differently. We're gonna send Jared in with the camera first so he's not filming my butt the whole time. And you guys can actually see the route that we're taking up. So get in there, Jared. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to crawl whilst yeah. holding a camera. Yeah. Back on as well. Crap. Maybe I'll film your ass. <laughs> For a change. Damn, it's hard with the camera. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna pick up quality footage on this one. But you sure do look funny. Done. How's that wiggle? Ah, Take the bag off. My knees are getting scraped. Oh, Jared, take the bag off. Well, mate. Ah, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm coming. Oh, man. I guess it's easier if you're not trying to film and have a backpack on. Oh, your knees are all red. Yeah, I scraped them whilst I was trying to call him. I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, so now we've got a nine meter ladder up to the surface. Um, Jared's gonna head up first and I'm gonna follow. All right, so Jared's just heading up. And I'm not game to s be underneath you in case you fall. I'm not gonna fall. Well, I hope not. And then this is basically the escape route that would have had to be taken if anything bad happened and they had to get out of here real quick. Imagine going up this as fast as you can to get out. Actually, this is pretty <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, look at these. Let me get out of this hole so I'm not standing at this drop. Far out. Look at the drop down. That's pretty scary. We're just walking down to a gun firing bay. Now here there would have been massive guns that they used to fire at approaching enemies. And I heard that a lot of them were destroyed by the British when this place was overtaken by the Japanese. All right, so there's a bunch of ammunition lockers around us. And then there's this here. So there's quarters for the officer on duty. And this guy just scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> oh, that is creepy looking. Does it look like it has a mask on? Yeah, I reckon it's supposed to be like a person tied up. Oh my gosh. And I've just spotted this article here. Penang's War Museum named one of the most haunted sites in Asia. As we're going around and we're seeing all these relics from the war and learning about all the crazy stuff that happened here, it's really understandable. This kind of title exists for this place. All right, guys, I've actually come back to the tunnel because we want to do a ghost tube. So we're going to go back in a little deeper. Now I've cooled off a bit. I'm still drenched in sweat, but this place is very interesting. Okay, guys, I've just pressed record now on a ghost tube session. This is in one of the haunted tunnels here at the Penang War Museum. This place is said to be haunted by a Japanese executioner but there's also supposed to be a lot of other spirits that roam here. Now, there's a lot of prisoners of war held here that were tortured and murdered by the Japanese, but this place was also occupied by the British at one point. So I'm gonna reach out in English, simply because that's my language that I know. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there any spirits in this tunnel that want to come close and talk to me? If there is anyone here, can you please come close to me? If 
If there's someone here, can you come close and tell me your name? Can you tell me where you were from? What was it that you were doing here? I don't know where those taps came from. If you made a noise, can you make it again? Just tap or bang on the wall. Were you a prisoner here or were you a soldier? I can actually hear birds. So even though we're deep underground, I can still hear outside. Was this a place of pain Fountain. for you? Fountain. I'm not sure what that would mean. What does fountain mean to you? What are you doing here? Alright, so we're at an observation post. What you guys can probably hear is paintball, like gunfire from paintball guns. There's actually like a paintball range here. Not sure what you'd call that. So this is the guard room. I guess you can observe a lot from here as well as this gun. Dude, are we gonna get shot up here? There. <laughs> Going up? Yeah, keep going up. Freaked to get under. One dead just came right through here. I thought it hit this window thing. I don't know what it hit. Are they trying to shoot me in the ass? What is that funny? Yeah, f this. I'm getting out of here. I think I'm in the painful course. Whatever it is. Oh my god. <sighs> really brings the War Museum to life. What is that? Snakes, centipedes, scorpions, bats, wildcats, eagle, etc. <laughs> so there's more than what is listed? And you only tell me now? <laughs> it's cool, we deal with a lot of these wild animals on Amy's Crypt. All right guys, we're in a place now where there is a lot of prisoners of war executed. There's a very macabre display here, just behind me. We have a painting that has a very bleak message on it. it. Looks like a fake skull in this pit down here with two samurai swords and an axe with almost like a little demonic face on it. I feel like this wasn't actually where maybe the executions were taken out because there's another marking over here for a guillotine but I mean it definitely could have been. This just seems like a display to strike fear into your heart more so currently standing in an old storeroom which was also used by the Japanese as a mortuary because there was a lot of executions taken out just in this area. This was also incidentally a place while while this place was being converted into a museum the workers actually seen a lot of dark shadows lurking around here. So there's been a lot of what people claim are ghost shadow figures and a lot of people have also said demons are present in this area as well as the famous executioner that was here. So supposed to be a lot of activity in this area and there's a very morbid creepy display in here so these are lock-up cells we're peering into here you can kind of get the bleak out look of this place just by seeing the soldier laying on their bed in the middle of that cell to Penang prison I actually don't know what this is, but there's a couple of skeletons hanging in here. Is that someone? In the darkness. I'm gonna put my torch on. Oh, whoa. It's like. To me, this looks like a haunted house almost. 
A witch doctor? What's that back corner? It's a witch. I don't know what that is. I mean, there was a lot of torture and murder here. I don't know if this is supposed to represent that. That screaming as well is the paintball. And it's hard to take things like this serious with that going on. But just a note to you guys. I guess maybe that's a way this place gets extra revenue to keep this place protected and restored. This area, it's in the deaths of thousands. Of, you know, people from Malaysia, people from British soldiers, as well as Japanese soldiers, thousands of people died here. I'm gonna reach out on my spirit box. I'm gonna reach out in English, the reason being not because I think there's any English speaking ghosts here possibly, or that they're the only ones I want to speak to. That is the language that I speak, so it's just gonna be easier for me. Hello, my name is Amy. Are there, is there anyone here that wants to talk to me? Can you come close and use the device in my hands to talk? I would love to know if there is anyone here. Can you tell me your name or say hello? Right, since there was a lot of prisoners of war here and a lot of torture, they have really terrible display here. And it's basically showing a contraption they use to electrocute their prisoners. And when you think of all the torture and interrogation, the beheadings, executions, everything that happened here, it was no wonder that when this place was abandoned, the locals became scared of this place. They were so scared of the fort and even the whole hill that it existed upon. They changed its name and it became known to being translated into English as Ghost Hill. All right guys, we just found another tunnel. It was also the British Army Intelligence Centre. The place is underground and apparently it was, if all doors were shut, say during a gas attack, it could recycle its own air supply in here even. I haven't been in here, so we don't know what we're in for. These look like another set of similar escaped tunnels that we seen in the other underground place. Thingy. Oh, this is kind of cool. Sort of looks like something out of a movie. Kind of looks like there's someone depicted here coming through the escape route. So I don't know if they ever got the chance to escape out of this one. I just heard someone scream. <laughs> Very likely someone out there though or a bird. Alright guys, we're going to go through this tunnel and it looks like it might be longer than the last one and similar uh, sort of setup. But we don't know until we go in. It's going to be completely pitch black. We're going to do this one a little bit differently. I'm going to do a ghost tube, uh, run a ghost tube session as we go through the tunnel. Jared is going to go first with the camera and just film the tunnel so that you guys can see ahead of us what we are looking into, what we are walking into and if maybe we pick up on anything. So it's going to be a little bit different, but we should go in. Okay, I'm following you, Jared. This one looks shorter than the other one. Oh man, actually. Are you going to be okay going in? Um. It's very, very short. Yeah, this one I'm going to have to kneel, I think. I'm just following Jared and I cannot see a damn thing. I can actually hear some yelling um, outside right now. I think that's just the people guys. Since this was the British Intelligence Centre, I'm going to reach out in English. 
Hello, are there any spirits in this tunnel with us? That was me, sorry. Can you come close and say something to us? Say a word so that we know you're here. Can you make a noise for us? Can you say something? Can you tell me your name? Can you come close to me? Spikes here. Oh, really? Okay. I feel like I just got a little one, like maybe here, but now it's just completely flat. If there's anyone in this tunnel with us, can you come close to me? Come close to this light in my hand. We don't mean you any harm, we just want to know if there's someone in this tunnel with us. Okay. This tunnel is so tight. Let's see the end now. Actually, just as I came out, the magnet peaked a bit. Actually, it's generally higher out here. Maybe it's just like a natural thing in the walls. Actually, something right here that's just dropping the magnet. And something here that's peaking it. Okay, there's a magnet here. Isn't that cool? It's no doubt working. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop recording this now. It was pretty cool, that one, though, I don't know if it's just something in my head. That one felt less atmospheric and creepy than the other one. Maybe it's because we did go through the light on. It's also a lot cooler here. It, the other one is like an oven. This one is a lot cooler, so I don't know why that would be, but. And my knees took a little bit of a beating today and that's uh, the old tunnel. It's gross. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to do more reading on this haunted place or others I have visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, 